Welcome to the Network Break Quick Take for August 2nd, 2021. Today, we're talking about Extreme Networks. They have announced new Wi-Fi 6E APs. They're going to be shipping to select customers, and the Wi-Fi 6E APs can be ordered now with delivery expected in the fall of 2021. And if you're not up on Wi-Fi 6E, uh, the 6E extension essentially means these APs can use the 6 gigahertz band along with the 2.4 and traditional 5 gigahertz. So that extra spectrum gives you more capacity, wider channels, less interference. That's the value prop around 6E. Yeah, so 6E is an exciting sort of development, more spectrum, more capability, but it's also got that specific use case where only if you need high density and high bandwidth. So it's it's one of those cases where this is a technology that's going to be useful in the long term over a 10 to 20 year cycle, but in the near term, it's got a niche use case for customers who need very high data transfer rates in very short range and conceptually um, in specific environments where you can actually use it. Like the six gigahertz is uh, not necessarily available in every country in the world. So only some countries have allocated the six gigahertz spectrum. So I think in one sense, the announcement that Extreme is bringing 6E products to market is good. But if I was an owner of a network that was Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 5E, I'm probably not rushing out to replace everything in my campus with this new stuff. Yeah, I think in the current environment, given that, we're probably not seeing a lot of uh, users going back to the office. Those issues around, you know, density and contention for that airspace probably mm-hmm. aren't going to be there for a while. And so the 6E value prop just doesn't really match up, particularly if I've just spent a lot of money and time rolling out Wi-Fi 6, uh, not a lot of impetus. If I'm on a previous version, yeah, maybe, but I think we're going to see probably yeah. a slower uptake in the enterprise for the 6E. Now, of course, if I had a network upgrade planned, I would want to be getting 6E, and it should be noted that these radios won't actually ship until late this year, Q3, and we've talked about a background of supply chain constraints and not just sort of constraints, but actually a moving target. It's not like uh, I sort of want to question, will they actually deliver them in Q3? Yeah, I did speak to them. Uh, I got a briefing on this announcement and I pressed them a couple of times about supply chain constraints. And they said, you know, we have a great relationship with our partner Broadcom. And they said, quote, they will manage through this. So that's not the same as guaranteeing delivery, but they know there are certain expectations they have to meet. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So I think that, you know, the caution that we've expressed on the podcast over the last three months about supply chain is don't make too many hard promises around delivery because you're, you're, expectations may not be met, your project is likely to be disrupted at multiple levels. And it could even be simple things. May You may actually get your APs, but maybe component, other components may or may not become available or, you know, yeah, something else to consider with that supply chain issue. If you think uh, 6E is in your near future, you know, the next 18 months, maybe it's time to get on their order list now with the anticipation that you're, you know, you're not that worried if the, the products don't come through and then you avoid a backlog later on. That might be something to think about. Uh, personally, I'd just avoid it. I'd just stick with what I have. And I, why go into a project and then have to go through all the hassle of, you know, because if you don't spend the money, what are you going to do with the budget? You know, all that sort of stuff. You might want to sit there and say, are there projects that I could spend this money on that I can actually reasonably deliver? You know, do I really, really need to do this update? That sort of thing. Maybe I'd be better off with an automation project that I don't need to buy physical assets for that I don't need chips for. Maybe I would be better off looking at an automation platform or an automation tooling or an orchestration or an SDN tool or an SD-WAN maybe or a software defined campus type project, you know, and get that that down on the ground now and wait for the supply chain problems to dissipate and then life would be better, I think. All right, two perspectives on 6E for you to continue. That does wrap up our quick take. If you want to hear the whole Network Break episode, check out uh, issue 344 on packetpushers.net.